Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. The weather started getting rough, the tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. The minnow would be lost. The ship set ground on the shore of this uncharted desert isle with Gilligan, the skipper too. A millionaire and his wife, a movie star, the professor and Mary Ann appear on Gilligan's Isle. So th Mary Ann. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, narrator. narrator. It was the day after Thanksgiving on Gilligan's Island, and the castaways were get are getting into the holiday spirit. Mary Ann, those are the best coconut paws for Thanksgiving you've ever baked. Oh, we still birthdays. We have so much to be thankful for. Yes, we sure do. We're all safe and sound, and high, and dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so thankful to be famous. And I'm thankful for my millions and for lovey. Uh, Ella Thurston, I'm thankful for you, especially for all your money. <laughs> 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 oh. Professor, I'm getting the Christmas mood. What can you invent for Christmas decorations? Well, Gillian, I've got a brilliant idea. Well, what is it, Professor? Well, you, it's a scientifically fact that all brilliant ideas start with lights. So, we need to generate some lights. And I have a backup plan because it's important that all professors have redundant systems. <laughs> for example, I always have two belts on, <laughs> so that if one belt fails, I have redundant belt. We also have to inform the skipper that we have redundancy in terms of participation. Yes. I've arranged to have a redundant professor. What? On board. Number no. right. We have another professor. What? Do we have another professor? Where? The redundant. Well. The redundancies, gentlemen, is Wolf. Wolf, come here. Yep. What? Where? <laughs> Where? Wolf. How did he get on the boat? Where Wolf? Where Wolf? Where Wolf? <laughs> what? There, Wolf. What? You have the magic formula for creating power so that we can create light. I do. Yes. Please join us, and this is the formula for creating power. I want to explain the, the formula. What? 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 Where? When? Where? What? Who? Who's on first? What? What? Equals power. What equals energy? It is. The first derivative of LD9 divided by the, the differential of A uh, and the constant of epsilon divided by epsilon 2 times the integral of the square root of x minus 9, which is m squared divided by 2, which is Einstein's formula. And it's one half of y over yp times something else divided by delta times the, the speed of light, which is 196,000 miles per second. Per second. Woof. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. And finish the rest of it here because I know it. Cuts off. <laughs> Only my own <laughs> So, Wolf, take the formula, the magic formula, and integrate it and convert it to power by activating. The wires over there. That sounds better than.
than the bright stage lights from my last movie. <laughs> I'm so happy you could use my pie tins. Is that why you married me? Or can we get married? <laughs> That's not you. <laughs> We're not married, are we? <laughs> Professor, if this works, I'll make even more millions. I'm going to patent this immediately. What do you think, lovey? Thurston, you're such a good businessman, but I'm going to go away from the script. I'll be a little smart than you, but it's OK. <laughs> <laughs> professor? Professor. <laughs> okay, Mr. and Mrs. Howdy Doody. <laughs> Let's get this all rigged up. Uh, Gilly can get me a pie and, and the tin and, and the minnow. And I, it could work. It could work. It's okay, little buddy. I'll be here to catch you if you fall. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Be brave. Oh. Oh, I'll be here to catch you. You're my favorite stuntman. Oh. Be careful, Gilligan. I'm scared, though. I don't want to hit. Okay, now. Professor, what about the lights now? Should we collect the generator? Okay, we're going to... Whoa! Oh, works! <laughs> oh, Thurston. We're going to now be even richer. Oh, lovey, I love the idea of more money. <laughs> oh, okay. Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. How oh, beautiful. Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. How oh, beautiful. Santa knows This was scientifically possible, <laughs> but now I believe Santa's elves can travel the high seas anywhere. Okay, elf, elf. elf. <laughs> dear, That's good. dear castaways, my name is Elf on the Shelf. Oh, me! I'm Santa's favorite elf, and I'm here to bring me bring you Christmas. Cheer! <laughs> oh, that's an amazing elf costume, but how are you going to bring us cheer? Santa knows that there is no small delivery Mail on Earth. No small mail delivery on Earth. So I'm here to collect your Christmas wish list. Oh, that's so sweet. Our own personal shelf on the Elf to Bread of Christmas wish lists. So tell me your Christmas wish list. Starting with you, Marianne. I'd love for Santa to bring me a new iron board and iron. <laughs> I've made notes. Professor, you're next. Well, I would like to see a new formula on the opposite arm arm of um, wood. Hey, Noted. Ginger, you're next. Oh, I wish I was first. So here's my list. <laughs> Chanel number five, the largest size. Um, Christian Dior makeup and lipstick. Oh. Um, I would love a new set of binoculars and a compass and a big steak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Hal, what can Santa bring you that you don't already have? Oh, Elf, another 10,000 shares of IBM, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and diamonds? <laughs> The collection to, is complete. I love carrots. So three carrot sapphire ring would be lovely. Got it. Gilligan, what about you? Oh, Elf, can you tell Santa like a package of bazooka bubble gum and a big box of Pringles? I'll let Santa know. Oh, thank you, Elf. Thanks, Elf. <laughs> we know <laughs> we do. <laughs> <laughs> And out on the shelf, I have an idea. Since Santa's coming on his sleigh on Christmas Eve, why couldn't he give us all a ride home? <laughs> That's a great idea, Marianne. That was smart, Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> Dear castaways, with that, it was so easy to grant this request. But although there's no place like home, Santa's union contract with the reindeer prohibits passengers on his sleigh. <laughs> so you have to wait for your rescue and homecoming. Well, you know, we're just glad that Santa remembered us. 
and we'll make the best of it here on the island for Christmas. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let our children see. Thank you. 